Hello viewers, hello listeners, thank you for joining me once again. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are coming here for the first time. If you are regular, just do the usual. Please like and comment and also share our video so that others may also see what we do here. Because what we do is we give you current affairs in real time. So yes, it seems as if the opposition, the Citizens Coalition for Change, has gained some level of confidence with the courts of Zimbabwe, specifically the Supreme Court. Of course, this is after the... Uh, they won an appeal against the disqualification of their MPs in Bulawayo. So now they have approached the Supreme Court once again. The Citizens Coalition for Changes approached the Supreme Court challenging the High Court's dismissal of its appeal challenging double candidates recorded under the party's name on nomination day. The High Court Judge Justice Neville Wamambo ruled that the request to, disqual to disqualify the 22 put forward by the party was invalid because the candidates were triple C members. So after the nomination day, it was realized that there were many double candidates from the triple C, I think in 22 uh, constituencies or at least in 22 14 points. And what the triple C said was that we, we supplied them with 210 uh, candidates of our, or 210 uh, names of our official candidates and I we don't know where those other candidates came from and we also supplied them with our specimen logos specimen signatures but it seems as if the process was infiltrated somehow and they blamed the forever associate Zimbabwe an affiliate of the Zanu PF of orchestrating all those shenanigans to file and to put through some double candidates in a lot of constituencies. So in an, in an appeal filed at the Supreme Court, the party is now seeking to have the judgment set aside, arguing that Justice Wamambo yet erred in his decision. Appellant, having specifically disavowed second 22, 22, 22 22nd respondents as its candidates and the issue having been specifically raised before it, the court accused in not deciding the question whether appellant needed to do more than simply disavow such respondents. So these are part of the arguments that the Triple C is sent through to the Supreme Court. Of course, yes, there is a strong team, there is a strong legal team from the Triple C camp led by Washman Nguwe, comprising of the likes of uh, Tawani Pofu, Doug Coulthard, likes of Bam, and many more and they were praised after the supreme court judgment yesterday so the court accused had in not coming to the conclusion that where political parties are not are involved rather a sponsoring candidates and obligations rest upon a nomination officer once cause is a reason to require a candidate claiming to be sponsored by a political party to establish the fact for the nomination officer to verify the matter with the political party concerned is part of the grounds of appeal. So the court accused court aid in not coming to the conclusion that where political parties are involved as sponsoring candidates. So they are saying that where political parties are involved, where it is known that it is a political party sponsoring a candidate, an obligation rests upon a nomination officer once cause is arisen to require a candidate claiming to be sponsored by a political party to establish the fact for the nomination officer to verify the matter with the political party consent. So this is what they are saying. They are saying that the nomination officer should have confirmed first with the political party and uh, assured that it is the candidate that is representing in that constituency because a need yet a reason for them to check first whether or not uh, this one was a legit candidate. The Triple C also argued that the High Court misdirected itself in not coming to the conclusion that the fact of the existence of the double candidates, the symbols presented by the second to 22nd respondents, as well as the signatures on their films, were so clearly at variance with the recorded intention of and the specimens given by appellant as to oblige a trigger of the exercise of a function under section 46.9 of the Electoral Act, chapter 213. So this is what they are saying also. They are saying that uh, 
the, 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 in the High Court case, the Triple C had presented to them the fact that these signatures, these placement signatures, they were provided are far different from the one that is appearing on the papers. I think there was the Freddie Masarev issue where it was compared to the original nomination form for the uh, candidate from Triple C and the, the Freddie Masarev one. The difference was notable and they argued also on the uh, Fazai Mayere signature. But the, 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 the judge said, uh, or the lawyers argued that they were not forensic auditors to come and say that these signatures are different, saying that the difference are, 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 are inconclusive and they cannot ascertain whether or not those differences really occurred. But they would need those who are involved, involved in forensics to establish whether or not their, uh, the signatures are really different. So they also say, they also argued that the court the court accused at any rate in suggesting that the appeal placed before it may have and it may have been invalid on the basis of the moribund and inapplicable provisions of routine of the electoral act applications appeals and petitions so this one i will leave it to the lawyers i'll leave it to those lawyer guys they know how to dissect this one but uh, what this generally means what all this means is that there is an appeal before the supreme court they are appealing that high court judgment which uh, said that the the, 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 the double candidates issue uh, they must yeah, just continue that it was inconclusive that uh, the double candidates did not emanate from a triple c but even us we are not lawyers we don't know any legality we don't know anything uh, concerning this but I just want to take this matter uh, with the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission. Say, so what happen, what's happening is the party gives you a list of 210 candidates to to represent you. Fair and fine. Uh, the party also gives you specimen logos and signatures. Fair and fine. And now come now comes nomination day. There the are forms to be sub submitted. Oh, I don't know. Obviously, at law, maybe they are not, they were not obliged to just compare with it. This is yeah, a Morewa North constituency. We have so and so as uh, who submitted forms for the for, from the Triple C, and yet the party list that we are given is so and so. I think it was an easy confirmation that they could have just done to avoid all these legalities, but is claimed by the triple c the triple c claims that the forever associates of zimbabwe the zimbabwe electoral commission and the zanopf worked in tandem in ensuring that there were double candidates in these 22 constituencies